Katie Picks and I'm a YouTube chef on a road trip through Ontario, Canada. And I'm looking to get very, very lost. I had an extremely unexpected turn of career, moving from behind the camera to in front of it, to having a TV show. I met people I never dreamt I could. It's gone at a crazy pace. We're gonna go stargazing, hiking, and then we're gonna cook on an open fire. We're gonna be foraging for our food. I'd love this trip to be an opportunity to really reconnect with nature, a bit with myself, to feel a sense of serenity and adventure. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. say this is the sort of place you retire to but I just think this is actually probably where you come alive. driving through Muskoka and scattered along the roadside are loads of these produce stands. I'm gonna have to stop off at one of them. Oh! I've only had three. That's the sweetest thing I've ever eaten. <gasps> I love this store. Try this one. Cheers. <laughs> What role does beer play in Muskaka life? I think it's very important. People come up here to relax. You go sit on the dock and you have a beer. Oh, I like that one. Last month. I'm at Huckleberry Rock, one of the best places to see the sunset in Muskoka. I don't think I've stopped like this in years. I always feel like there's quite a difference between a holiday and an experience. You forget that in those experiences, what you're more often than not doing is getting to know yourself that little bit better. Ms. Coco, you're beautiful. <laughs> Next leg of the road trip, Algonquin. Here we come. Oh, how cute is this? Oh yeah, I could get used to that. Every person I've met through this whole experience has been connected to the wild more than I thought it was possible. So meeting Frank has taught me about the land. What do you think it is that makes this place so magical? It's so open country, eh? I can go and get lost for months in the park. I used to do 21 day survival trips. Don't take nothing, just a fishing rod. What we were eating was cattail roots and porcupine if we didn't catch fish. There you go, see? <laughs> oh! Don't you lose them. <laughs> Should I just pick him up? That's your lunch, you know. <laughs> the dish that we're going to cook today depends on what we find here in the forest. Love it. Wild horseradish, chanterelle mushrooms, wild arugula. So we've got our beautiful ingredients, we're keeping it authentic, and we've got the open fire going. Should we get cooking? Yeah, slip. Flesh side down first. That's a chef's trick. The smell of the tarragon immediately. What are we calling this dish? Traditional Ontario shore lunch. Found in the land, foraged, well, you witnessed it, foraged like five minutes ago. 
being able to cook with people who know produce in a completely different mindset than I do has taught me an abundance. I don't think I've given myself the opportunity to disconnect until I sat on that sunset hilltop in Muskoka and just allowing me to be completely in the moment. I was looking to lose myself, but realistically, in losing myself, I think I found a piece of me that I didn't even know was gone. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this crazy adventure, then make sure you click to see more.